Hey guys, I'm gonna do a compressed air painting. Um, I haven't painted, oh my God, in like six months and I've just started again and I feel like it's like a process to begin again. It's like, I feel rusty, everything I do, it's like scrape it off, it looks like crap. So I'm using Prussian Blue, I believe it's by Windsor and Newton and there's, I'm just puddling it on here so if I spill some it's not that big of a deal because I'm going to be swiping it around or mixing it around with compressed air anyway. Phthalo Green by Artis Loft. And these are mixed with silicone and Floetrol and water. I can't tell you which silicone because I think I've mentioned in other videos I moved my, my paints around and I lost track when I did it not thinking that, oh, is that treadmill silicone or is that WD-40? So I couldn't tell you. I'm going to use a little turquoise too. Trying to keep the green away because I'm going to put red and yellow in the center. I feel like I'm tipped a little. I'm a yellow fanatic, so it kind of goes everywhere. And then through this, I'm going to be using some white as well. I'm going to use one of my handy dandy tongue, tongue, what do you call those? These things. Tongue suppressor? I guess that's the word I'm looking for and I can't think. Because I do like to have a little white in there to break up some of the color. Okay. And that's just my white that's, uh, but geez, I don't even know if I need to use the air compressor. This is all kind of flowing its own way, but I think I still will. I want a little bit darker. I know that this is a lot of paint, but all right. All right, let's see what we come up with. It might look like crap and then you won't see it. Boy, there is a crap ton of paint on here. I think I might start with some tipping. And then go towards it, because holy cow. some of the, it's almost like a mallet smash when you get the paints going. I'm getting too much pink in the center though. This is pretty groovy over here, I like that. Since I can't do a scrape off right here, I'm just gonna do like a soak up lack of a better word. I don't even know if soak up is a proper word you can use there, but I'm using it. The parts that I don't like, I'm just going to dab it up with the tissue. And we'll see what happens. I really love what's happening up here. Holy cow. I don't know. You can't go wrong with yellow. It's pity. Pity, pity, pity. I got way too much white. Live and learn, right? Let me see. These ones are fun because you just don't know what you're going to come up with.
that's always good because my sack needs to be colored, right? All right, I'm liking this a little bit better. Except this, this doesn't really resonate. Try a little tilting because again, there's a lot of paint on here. So I'm just trying to go slowly. Yeah, I don't really like that either, tilting. I think. Just knock the tissue box over, but that's okay. I feel like there's too much white. I'm trying to get rid of some of it without destroying the good parts. where we have to beetles it, let it be, and see what it's going to do. Yeah, yeah. It's going to fire it, but not quite yet. Like controlled chaos <laughs> a little bit that's better it was too pukey through here I'm still not really fond of right here moments when the colors come together and you get puke. Didn't I just say beetles that I was supposed to let it be? Yeah, I did, didn't I, right? Yeah take my own advice, do I? If I did, life would be a lot simpler if I just listened to myself. <laughs> and that is meant in more ways than one, for sure. All right, just moving, moving, moving the paint. But I think I like this. I don't know, it's very bright, it's very happy. I think this is my favorite part, but then I really like this too. So we'll see how it dries. Um, 
some blank parts to the canvas. Hmm. Might just paint the edges of those and not worry about it like when we have the drip down previously of other said paintings. If I can find my lighter, which, what did I do with it? See, this is what, oh, here, come on. This is what happens. You get so absent-minded and into stuff, you don't realize where you put stuff. And I'm one of those people that pretty much knows where my stuff is, except when I'm in the home, at home, in the house alone, then I always lose my phone. And when my daughter lived with me, I'd have to say, hey, can you please call me? And she'd be like, again? And I'd be like, yep, just call me. Don't give me shit. Just call me. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I have to get this to flat ground because it's wanting to move. So don't worry about the sides where you can see canvas. I'll be touching that up as it um, continues to dry. But I mean, for the most part, I don't know, it's bright and cheery. I kind of feel like I... Shouldn't have put the white in it. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. But it's a nice, bright, cheery, happy painting. I'll try to get you as much as I can without the light and covering it up. So pity, pity. See, I think I'll try one without the white. But that part, I don't know. I like that part. So bear with me while I'm trying to get shots where we don't get the light bulb in it. <laughs> 